2021 Jayco 264BH. We bought it used. We've had it about two years now. I put a new LED light in because the bulbs were failing, but also I noticed before I even started that project that the LED seemed to be not mounted square. It was tight and high in one corner and low in the other. So I realized that this is a flap of awning material with the LED mount attached to it and it's taped to the awning itself. However, when we close our awning, if we close it all the way, it compresses the LED light on this end and helps to peel it away from the awning. So I wanna reattach it, but also be more careful when I close the awning. So online I was reading, what's the proper adhesive? HH66 vinyl cement. This is the stuff that apparently works on awning, canvas, all kinds of stuff, but vinyl cement. It's supposed to be pretty strong. So I started wiping down the area where I'll be gluing. My wife just scoured it, so it's very clean already. The HH66 instructions say apply it to both surfaces, then let it sit for a couple minutes to let it get tacky. And it is 100% cured in 24 hours, ready to handle in one hour or so, depending on the temp outside and the material. We shall see. So my idea is to wedge this across the top where I'm gluing it, use this piece of wood combined with that to get the height I need to hold this in place. Does that make sense? I was not sure if this was going to work, but I had no idea how to hold this complex structure together while the glue dried. So this is how I cobbled it together. The box gave me a little extra height I needed. The board held the thick dowel in place while the glue dried. All right, so I'm gonna let that cure and then we'll remove the wood and see if it held. And then we'll work our way down. Just a side note, I didn't let that section cure for very long, just over an hour. It seemed like it was solid but as soon as I brought the brush over into the seam, it popped. So I had to set it again. I found that after the glue gets a little tacky, it works best to press the material together with your fingers. It gives it a much better bond. Then I added the dowel and let it dry. And also it can't be rushed. Let each section cure for two plus hours longer if you can be patient before moving on to the next section. What do you think? Think it'll help? Can't be any worse. Oh, that's solid. Oh, look at that line. It used to be kind of curved and bent. Now it's perfectly square and straight. I love it. Ah, oh, that's so good. So that's it. I wasn't gonna make a video on this, but I thought maybe it could help somebody else that's dealing with the same thing. I've seen people use tape. I use the glue. I wanted it to be strong, and that's what I got. This stuff is strong. It looks fantastic, and going forward, I just have to be careful with how hard we close this awning. It should be able to close all the way, but it is what it is, but I'm happy with the results. And if this ever fails and I need a whole new awning, I'll just dump that whole thing. I will get a brand new LED light bar that actually tapes to the surface of the camper. Has nothing to do with the awning, which would be nice because then I could close this all the way without worrying about crushing that LED strip that's mounted with glue. But hey, it works, it's done. We're going camping this weekend. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps. And we'll see you next video. God bless you.